Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Dash Brandon. We are hot off the heels of getting promoted to uh, rank 1 promotion engineer. And I wanted to talk about the builds that we're running for all of our weapons and the grenades we're using, the armor we're using, all that type of stuff. This is October so we have our <laughs> ugly ass orc or goblin looking uh, engineer going on here. We will change him once Halloween is over, but it is one of my favorite times of year. So we just got this perk slot. Um, we currently run vampires so that when we kill medium and larger creatures, we get four health back. We have iron will that helps us to actually take advantage of vampire if we're about to die by keeping us alive. Uh, if you go get some red sugar while this is up, you can actually stay alive, you never go down. And then we have heightened senses because I'm terrible at this game and I need to know when a cave leech is, is targeting me so I can still ignore it and still get caught and my team has to save me. That's how that works. <laughs> so, Berserker I think would be a good pickup to go with Vampire and Iron Will and everything because we're gonna deal plus one melee dam damage for every seven HP that we're missing so I think that's what we should go with here. So we're gonna go with Berserker. We're gonna go see if we can see what Berserker match maxes out at. Uh, if we go to perks, and uh, we know Berserker looks like that. It's a little punchy dwarf. So it maxes out at plus one melee damage for every four points under your maximum. So that can actually be quite a bit of damage once you max it out. Most of our other per perks are already maxed out. Don't do that. We don't need to look at the ugly pumpkin right now, all right? So let's start with the Warthog. This is a weapon that you start with as a new player and a new engineer. And we're gonna go through the perks I selected. In tier one, you have a choice between um, a faster rate of fire or a bigger magazine. I went with bigger magazine because it synergizes really well with the build that I wanna do here. In the second tier, we went with choke so that our shotgun becomes more like a sniper rifle and everything stays more compacted together. We went with high capacity magazine, so that increases our magazine size by three. The first one did it by two. Then we have bigger pellets so that um, it increases the overall damage of our weapon. The damage goes from 6 to 8, so that is a 33% increase. Uh, if you want to look at it in that type of way, you could get a stun here, which I'm, okay, I'm pretty much okay with a stun. And then I'm also okay with the armor break. Um, those aren't what I go with. I'm going for the most damage here. And then we have minor adjustments for fully automatic with an increased rate of fire. This is so that if you're shooting something big, you can just unload into it. All 11 rounds very quickly do a ridiculous amount of damage and blow it up. On to the stubby. The stubby is actually not my favorite weapon. Like I like it and I don't like it at the same time. You can do it with a crowd control build or you can do a maximum damage build which is what we've done here we're trying to hit as much damage as we can so we have of course increasing the overall damage that is a 25 percent increase going from eight damage to 10 damage per shot we picked up floating barrel that gives us a lower spread when we're shooting we have high velocity rounds so that's even more damage another two damage on top of that otherwise you're just going for max ammo i'd rather have more damage than more ammo though because i'd rather they just die quickly next we have hollow point rounds that gives us weak point damage bonus of 30 percent see if we do this you can see that 30 percent change in there and then in the last tier we have conductive bullets more damage to targets that are in the electric field so when we do proc that electric which i think we have like a 30% chance to proc it, we're going to do quite a bit more damage. We're going to do 30% more damage. So that's going from 10 damage to 13 damage. So that's how we're going to deal the most damage we can with the Voltaic SMG. I have a few skins for it. This is default. Glyphid Trophy Hunter is currently my favorite. Next we have 
the deep core 40 millimeter pgl this is this is the skin that i was looking for in my last video i love this skin custom engineered it just looks good looks really good this one isn't too bad the deep core but this one's my favorite so far anyways on to the gear so we're using damage radius increase we're using more bang for the buck larger payload so increase the damage done within the area of effect so that means that the area damage is going to be in increased so we'll be able to deal with swarms a little bit easier um, pressure waves so we have armor breaking here we have 550 percent bonus damage to armor on this weapon we have homebrew explosive for more damage on average but it's a bit inconsistent with a spread of 80 percent to 140 percent so you're able to proc 140 percent damage sometimes not all the time and then we have spiky grenade deals damage on direct impact so as soon as it hits something it deals a large amount of damage it deals 60 damage to it automatically right when it hits and then the other option here is proximity trigger that's not that good on to the breach cutter which i do not have a cool skin for so this is set up mostly for killing Praetorians. This is set up for killing big tanky creatures, dreadnoughts, things like that. Things that you can really mow into. So let's look at what we have here. We have condensed plasma. So more, more weapon damage, of course. We have a wider plasma line so that it can hit more targets or it's just easier to hit those weak points on those enemies that I mentioned. We have armor breaking. This is very important for Praetorians because you can face them head on and just shoot right through them and you break all of their armor, I think, in one or two shots. We have expanded magazines so that we have to reload a little bit less often with this weapon. We have two more shots. So we have actually 100% more shots because it's a two round magazine by default. Then we have double split line. This stacks them on top of each other like this and it does so much damage. Each line does its own damage, so you're basically doing double damage if you line up your shots pretty well. For the basic pickaxe, I have this, but I actually like Shockwave Been better. Working my ass off to get this. Shockwave gives us more area damage. That'll help if we're trying to proc vampire, things of that nature. Flares, there's only two upgrades. We don't really need to look at that. Platform gun, I have not had good luck with a repellent. So I went with expanded ammo bags and a high capacity magazine. So we can carry more per magazine. For our turret, if you're doing a defensive area, you usually want to put it up against a wall. That's just what you're going to do. So we use one LMG Mark II. We have expanded ammo bags for it so it can hold more ammo. Or we can hold more ammo for it, rather. We gave up sandwich storage for that. We have penetrating rounds for armor breaking on this weapon. And then we have defender system, so it does more damage and has a smaller scan angle, so that's why we want to put it up against a wall. I'm hoping that they introduce skins for this soon, because that'd be really nice. And I just stay with the lure. It's the most effective of the grenades, in my opinion. Everything else is damage. I'd rather get things away from me so I can just plow them down with whatever weapon I'm using which would probably be these weapons. Actually, I like the breach cutter. We'll use the breach cutter. That's such a good weapon. <laughs> All right, and then for our armor. How long has this video been? Nine minutes, holy crap. We've been plowing through it. All right, so we have the owl armor rig. Um, I go with faster shield regeneration. Uh, that seems to come in more handy than uh, well, it's a faster, it starts faster, it doesn't actually regenerate faster. Um, I feel like that comes in more handy. Uh, if, you're, if you're just going on a casual thing, then bigger mineral bag is probably fine, you know, uh, uh, cat three and down, um, difficulty three and down probably. All right, next we have overcharger. Your shield can absorb more damage before breaking. Um, I feel like this is better than getting uh, 20 health because this is shield that I'll always have. You don't necessarily sit at full health all the time. You 
usually consider full shield all the time. Hazmat system, we don't have a choice here. And then the very last one we have, Shockwave. Our shield breaks violently, damaging all enemies around you in the process. This is mostly for the little swarmer bastards that really get all up on you. And they really annoy the shit out of you. And that's to deal with them. So yeah, that's where we're sitting right now. That's what we like. In this last perk slot, what would we put here? If we had all five... Field Medic, maybe, to revive people faster. Or Sweet Tooth, so we can heal more. That synergizes with everything else that we have going on here. Sprinting is never bad. So yeah, it, it either come down to sprinting, healing teammates more, or healing ourselves more with Red Sugar. So, that's what it comes down to. Anyways. I am going to wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed our talk about the engineer build that I like to use. We will be looking more at all of the other classes, so stay tuned for that as I get them leveled up, as I play with them a lot more. We yeah, will get nice. there. <laughs> and this is how we're going to end the video. Actually, that's a terrible that dance. Sucks. That's a terrible dance, too. There we go. That's that's a much more Dash Brandon kind of dance there. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. I hope you liked the video. Like and subscribe if you would like to see more. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.